Okay, so for this video, I wanted to cover um, the Azure AKS Fleet Manager. Um, this is a new type of offering that Azure has come out with. I made a quick markup um, to essentially show you the notes of what we're doing here, and I'm gonna be using the command line, so I wanted to um, leverage this session just to show you um, what conceptually we're doing, but also to get you more familiarized with Azure's um, nomenclatures, right? So I've already grabbed the um, cluster credentials, uh, the keep config, right? So if I run a keep cuddle get pods, I should be authorized um, to my cluster. As you can see, I don't have any pods, right? Um, now, similarly, if I run a keep cuddle get pods all, right, I can see what's kind of going on throughout the cluster. As you can see, I have Defender running um, for the runtime protection along with policies, right? So stuff that we're already familiar with. Now, when I do keep cuddle get nodes, I should get a response back of the AKS node pool that we're running, right? Um, as you can see, I've had this up for quite some time. Um, this is version 1.26.6 um, as of this recording. Um, the major version would be 1.28, um, right? Most cloud platforms right now are pushing out 1.28. Um, so we do have that in preview as well uh, in Azure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear. I'm gonna show you some of the commands here. And essentially the big picture of Fleet Manager is putting clusters that live outside of your region, right? Region being, if it's a regional service. Um, previously, Azure had some constraints where some services were um, regional based, right? In certain regions, depending on its SLA, its usage, um, they were tied to a region. But really, Fleet Manager coincides with the universal cluster management. So what I'm gonna do is I already ran some of these commands and I'll show you what exactly the fleet is, right? So I'll run um, this command here, I'll just copy paste and I'll show you exactly what um, the fleet is. So let me name fleet hub. Oh, no, no, no. Let me actually fix that area here. Name and let me add this portion here because we're essentially going to grab what that member is. So if you can see uh, when I run this command, I get a output of what the members are. If I run a clear, I can run fleet member list fleet group. And then we're essentially going to look at our group. So what we're going to do for this tutorial or how to, if you will, is I'm going to show essentially how you would assign a cluster update group, right? So this requires the extension here as far as some prerequisites. So I already have this extension. So if I, I do Azure extension add, and then I do fleet, I can look at specifically, it's gonna search for that extension, right? It's already installed. So you wanna do that before if you're gonna run this as far as command line. Um, so now we have to assign our clusters, right? That we're um, going to leverage um, to an update group. So as you can see, this is essentially referencing your fleet, right? Think of that as your grouping. Um, not your resource group in that regard. Um, so think of this as your cluster um, grouping, okay? This will be your cluster, your member, um, cluster ID, and then your update group staging. So that's if you don't have um, the fleet member, essentially the cluster being um, already associated with the fleet. In my case, I already did this prior to this. So what I'm gonna run, um, as you can see, if existing, right? So I've already filled out some of this and I'm gonna create a update group called staging. So I'm gonna run this command. As you can see, the output should come back um, succeeded, um, right? So we got our succeeded. Let me run the next one and we should get a similar output. Okay, and then I will clear that. And then we need to define essentially um, our update and run stages, right? Um, essentially, this is you telling the system, okay, what type of update do you wanna run, right? Um, I ran into issues with this JSON document, but I'll show you um, what that is and then we'll jump over to the architecture. So for the stages.json, the documentation provided um, this JSON document, I think it was called example stages, um, but essentially you can um, define what that stage is up here along with the groups below and then the parameter, okay, after it hits the stage, how long do you wanna wait in terms of seconds to move to the next stage? So think of that um, three in seconds, right? 3,600 seconds as far as that's concerned. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save both of these and we're gonna jump over to our browser and let me make sure that that browser is up. Okay. So now that we're jumping over to the browser portion here, if you can see, I just 
quickly to a mock-up of what exactly we're doing, right? So the fleet manager will sit up here. This is essentially um, its own resource, right? This is known as the fleet hub. You can call this a different name. I just put this as a quick depiction. And so we have two clusters, one that lives in US West 2, as far as the region, and then US East, two different resource groups as well. So it's not necessarily tied to um, the clusters have to be in the same resource group as far as that, right? So it kind of changes a lot of um, known from previous people who have been familiar as far as Azure Solutions Architects, things like that, right? This kind of switches that up. Now you want to think, obviously this is a small use case, but if we were to globally distribute some of our clusters, right, if we had something that sits in another region, right, so this could be US Central, this could also be um, another US West, right, this could be US West 1 in that regard. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. The key concept that you want to think about um, moving forward specifically is we can now not fall, what I say, victim to if a new update upstream comes across and we're trying to update a good subset of Kubernetes clusters, right? If depending how our operations are already working, we can make those updates either uh, one by one, right? Um, I wouldn't say that that's the right strategy, um, or you can do an update strategy as a grouping. So this makes the cluster management a lot easier, right? Now, again, I will cover more on fleet managers, such as like the cluster propagation and another video and things of that nature. Um, but just to conceptually show you what um, the issue that we're trying to address um, from the fleet manager solution would be is that multi-cluster management, right? Especially at scale as organizations start adopting Kubernetes, right? Um, albeit, what does that look like conceptually, right? So right now, um, some clusters are essentially supported on versions uh, 1. I believe 2.6 and above, right? So when you had to update to a new version, um, let's say this is 1.27 as a major version, right? You could only do this sequentially in the sense that you could only go up one. They're supported downstream, um, I believe it's three versions specifically, but you can only go up one. So over time, if this is not something that's on your radar, as far as operations are concerned, um, it's easy to fall behind. Um, Elastic Kubernetes service, this was running into a lot of issues with customers. You're seeing this across some other organizations um, having to find strategies to consistently update because the new iterations of upstream releases come out fairly quickly um, for businesses to catch up. So you'll still see some um, legacy support there. Kubernetes Fleet Manager. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the fleet. We're going to go down here where it shows member clusters. And this should list all the clusters assigned um, to our fleet, essentially, right? And as you can see, that staging uh, command that we input earlier is now up. And as you can see, I have two different versions, right? 1.266, 1.266, two different locations, right? Um, similar nomenclatures in this, right? Um, they get pre-populated, as you can see, with the managed cluster um, nomenclature in that realm, right, where it adds uh, the resource group. So now these are a part of my um, cluster or my fleet, right? So if I wanted to add, I essentially would hit add. It pops up in an intuitive wizard, right? And the wizard would show essentially any other clusters that sit there. So now we'll go back. We'll go into the multi-cluster update. Um, due to having the issue specifically with that JSON document, that's why I'm using the UI in this realm, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a run. I'm going to call that run a certain name. So we'll say staging, we'll call it staging run. Right? And I have two options. I can upgrade the scope to the node image plus the Kubernetes version or the node image latest. Right, So you can see there's two differences. So with this top portion, I can specify, OK, as you can see, there's versions that are a little bit more antiquated, 1.256, 1.2511. But let's say I wanted to go up to 1.27, 1.273. Right? But let's say I wanted to jump to 1.28. All the members must run 1.27. So you can only go up by one. Um, but when you think about this, you can go to 1.2713, right? And then on the next run, you can go up to 1.28. So just as an FYI. So let's go with 1.273. Let's say we're going to go to a stage. Let's create that stage. Um, it's weird how that should have populated. Uh, let me see here. So let's call this stage staging update. And we don't want to do a pause, so we're not going to select a pause. We're going to hit next. And that's our update group. So we did a find update group. We're going to hit create. We're going to put that a part of its sequence, right? And then we are going to finalize this. We're going to hit create. It's going to create that run. And as you can see, it's going to go into a status, right, state. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to run start. It's going to start updating that cluster. We're going to go to the overview of that run. Um, and I'll probably speed up this um, portion because it's likely going to take some time to run. Um, but quickly, just wanted to show you, you know, some of the nuances associated with this, right? So obviously, you have a couple options. If I ran another create, 
I could do the node image um, latest, or I could do the node image uh, portion. I could also do the one by one, right? So perhaps I have on the east running, US east running, let's say 1.27, and on US west I've run 1.28, right? I think blue green in that realm, testing out new um, capabilities for that Kubernetes version so that, that go upstream, right? So it's really dependent on how you want to operate that. Um, but simultaneously, this is a real big improvement to what was already um, more cumbersome of grouping, right, specifically. So just wanted to make a quick video showing you exactly what we're doing, how, how would you do that. Um, I think this is a really big motion moving forward, and I think a lot of customers will um, benefit from this, but also I think um, making you aware of some of the capabilities that are still in preview. This is not necessarily GA yet, but I want to show off some of the um, nuance in Brunetti's uh, fleet manager. <laughs> Okay, um, but outside of that, I will make another video um, that will be showing the cluster propagation and some other features from this capability.